everyone welcome back to my channel today I'll be teaching you all a new lesson in flutter today I will teach you about the flutter pop-up menu button as promised in the previous video I'll teach you another type of button in flutter first of all let's have a dot file built you go to lib and you choose new and you choose dot file for this dot file I'll name it as pop up exercise and inside we'll have our flutter template as in here And now we won't need the body container yet, but we'll need it later. So first of all, first of all, let's remove the body container. And now I'll show you how to build a pop-up menu button in Flutter. Now let's have a class made for our choices that we will put inside our pop-up menu button so you go to the end and say class choice and inside we'll have a final string which is equals to name and we'll have final icon data named icon And we'll have a constructor made. Constant choice. This dot. This dot name, and this dot icon will be inside our constructor. And we'll move this to the top of our choice class okay now follow my steps and let's make a list out of our choice class we say constant list and inside we'll have choice and let's call it choices and it will be equal to constant choice and let's have square brackets to for our list and inside we'll have some constant choices first we'll have constant choice as the name Wi-Fi and we'll have our icon as icons dot Wi-Fi and let's have three three more choices first of all let's copy this and let's paste it and the second one will be Bluetooth and the icon name will be blue Bluetooth and let's have another example and another one this time we'll name this one as battery and then icon will be icons dot battery icons dot battery alert and next we'll have a storage choice 
and our item icon will be icons dot storage. Now we have made our list of choices for our choices class. In this code, I got something wrong, so I'll fix it now. We'll have our constant choice constructor with curly brackets inside, and after that, we'll have our name given and our icon given and again our name and icon given and again our name given and again our icon given and again our name given and icon given for our storage now let's have another class made this time we'll have class name choice card which will extends stateless widget and we'll override our and now We'll override our missing components. Now we have made a choice card, and inside I'll tell you what to put inside this choice card class. Inside our choice card, we'll have a final choice, which will be choice, and We'll have a constant choice card con constructor made with a key and this dot choice and we'll make it equals to super key will be key. All right, we made some of the choice card codes, and let's move on to another code inside our choice card. First of all, let's remove all this. What we are building here is the blueprint of the body when we when we go through choices in our pop-up menu button. Now I'll have a Final textile, which is equals to textile, and make it equal to theme dot of context dot dot text text theme dot headline. And now we'll return a card. We'll have return and have card and inside we'll have a child named center and inside it we'll have another child named a column. All right, and now we'll give a color for our card. We'll give the color property as colors dot blue. Now we have made somewhat of our choice card, and let's go on to the next step in the choice card. Now inside our column, we'll have a main axis size. The main axis size will be main axis size dot min and we'll we'll give a cross axis alignment also it'll be cross axis alignment dot 
center. And now let's give some children to our column. In the in, inside children, we'll have a icon. The icons icon will be choice dot icon. And next we'll have a text as well. The text will be choice dot name. We'll place a choice dot name inside our text. Now our choice template has been finished. Now let's move on to another step in this code. Now inside our state my app we'll have a choice name selected option which will be equal to choices index 0. Next we will have a method named select which has a choice of choice and inside let's declare the set state and inside we'll have selected option equals to our choice now our code has been completed to a point now we must decorate our app bar with our pop-up menu button for that we must go inside of the app bar now inside the app bar we'll have an action and inside it we'll have pop-up menu button and the on selected will be the select method and there will be a item builder as well now inside the item builder we'll have build build context context and we'll have it return to choices dot skip zero dot map choice choice and this will return a pop-up menu a pop-up menu button a pop-up menu item and It, it will have a choice inside it and inside we will give it a value of choice and it will have a child named text and this will print the choice dot name And finally, we say to list and, rem and place a semicolon. Alright, now we have made the pop up menu button in our inside our application. Now we have made a pop-up menu button inside our application. It has an item builder, a value and a text as its child. Now let's have our body made. After the app bar, we'll have our body 
and inside it we will have a padding and the padding will be edge insets dot all 15.0 and next we will have a child we will have a choice card as our child and inside it for the choice we will give selected option now we have finished our pop-up menu button we have developed our code the pop-up menu button will be installed in the app bar so it's time to check our output and see our pop-up menu button in progress let's first run our application right now I'll join you after build the app gets built till then you must wait a bit guys before running this application we have to give a size for our icon which will be placed in the body I forgot to tell you that now let's do it inside icon we'll have a size the size will be 114.0 now let's run this and check the output our app is finally finished it's time to check it in inside our phone finally our app is running as expected here's the pop-up menu button the three dots show the pop-up menu button and we have a hello text in our app bar and when we click the pop-up menu button we can change it to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, battery or storage let's select Wi-Fi oh no let's select Bluetooth now and now it shows the Bluetooth icon let's select battery now it shows the battery icon now and finally let's select the storage now it sho shows the storage picture the icon for storage likewise our application is performing very well now and now up till here I have taught you about buttons in flutter today is the la last lesson for buttons in flutter in the next lesson i'll meet you with i'll meet you with another lesson another day until then goodbye guys and please take care